Hello there, and welcome again to my workshop. Today, we are going to do a two and a half D cut on the CNC router. And we're gonna make a child's toy. We're gonna to make a Land Rover Defender. It's going to be about 450 mil long and about, uh, two, about 200 mil high, something like that. Um, and I hope you like it. It's going to be made um, a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle where it's, it's put together in quite a few sections and um, Okay for the first job what I've done I've cut out two panels which are um, 500 by 250 um, which is close to the size of each side of our Land Rover and what I've done I've I've um, set up the cut in two different programs. So first of all, we're gonna cut the windows out in each section. So that's what we're gonna do right now. the windows cut out slight little problem I see that uh, between these two windows here this piece that I wanted left has just flaked the, the top layer of the lam laminate um, or ply on both on both of them so um, I'm gonna have to patch that up a little bit maybe nothing really to worry about okay so now what so we're going to do we're going to cut the, um, the, the both sides out now of the Land Rover. router uh, it's a 6090 which means it's 600 millimeter working envelope across the machine and 900 millimeters in the Y down the machine now and you can see this black area is roughly the full area that the machine will machine uh, the next interesting point that I want to show you with NC Studio uh, is sending the uh, machining head or the spindle to the home position and uh, putting it into the area where it's easy to change a tool um, automatically. Now that is done through you select operation and come down here 
and select move to reference point which brings up this window now you can either select each individual axis or select all axes that will automatically move slowly <laughs> But you can let the machine get on with it, and you can carry, a bit, carry on about your business doing something else. And you will notice, as it sets the reference point, the machine coordinates all turn to zero and you have the symbol up here that tells you that the machine is now zeroed to the home position and it's set. So now it's in a very convenient place for me to change the tool. I don't know whether you can see that. So now it's in a very, very convenient place for me to change this tool. Uh, this incidentally is a 6mm ball mill. I find cutting out um, plywood or MDF or something like that far better with a ball mill than what it does with a flat end. Okay, so I've, I've marked out on my piece of work uh, where the centre of um, the part that I want cut out, uh, which in this um, instance it is the one of the outside inner parts of the Land Rover which incorporates the seats and um, uh, the back compartment and the engine compartment so take the Z down okay so we just zero the X Y and Z now X Y and it's as easy as that with the uh, pendant. enjoyed that segment of this video um, unfortunately I've had to split it up into two videos because there's too much information um, regarding CNC routing um, and actually putting it together so uh, I've split this up into two videos so I hope you enjoy this first and I one. hope you join me for the second video um, please if you enjoyed this video press like subscribe to my channel and little red box down there I hope um, you press on that that'll take you to my YouTube channel where there's information on CNC routing uh, the programs that run CNC routers and uh, the design programs like at CAM also I do quite a bit of wood turning and shop jobs around here and uh, also make a bit of furniture I think there's something there for everyone. So uh, until next time, bye for now. <laughs>